That is a lot of sodium. You take my love for granted. I think I need a minute to figure out my limits. You cost them more than once, yeah. You take my love for granted. Hey guys, good morning. It's Mike Chen. Hope you all are staying safe, staying healthy, staying positive. I feel like every single day I get up and the routine is pretty much the same. I get up and automatically I, I need something to eat. And on the days I'm not really filming, so I do have a lot of food stashed away in this apartment. Let me show you. I got two snack drawers. This is great, by the way. Bubble tea candy. Oh, my last remnants of Japan. Pistachios, chocolate, jerky. Carolina Reaper jerky, also greatest candy ever I got from Thailand. Two drawers full, oh, so many of these. Kit Kats, melon candy, Hawaiian cookies. By the way, I actually don't snack a lot, so go on my Instagram account, sign up. I'm gonna be doing a lot of giveaways. I'm giving all the snacks away. And then inside my fridge, oh, that's pretty empty. That's for recipe videos I'm doing, got some tofu. Freezer is where it's at. Japanese A5 Wagyu, cowboy steaks, frozen ramen. And during this lockdown, I've been doing a lot of cooking videos, a lot of mukbang story time sort of videos. And then today I realized something. I've neglected a part of my house where I have stacked food and I stacked it in a place I don't typically think about. So I really kind of forgot about it and that's on me because it's one of my favorite foods in the world and I've got so much of it. Let me show you. So this is my bedroom and I have a ramen corner right by my bed. Sorry, it's not me, so I'm not gonna show you. But it's right there, and I don't think about it much because I don't come in here as often as I should. I sleep in the living room, and look at my ramen collection. This is something I've acquired over the last couple months, and there's so many new things I wanted to try, and I just haven't done it yet. So today, we're gonna try them all. And I'm gonna tell you guys which one's the best and which one you should be getting next time you go to an Asian supermarket. Today is really just about the instant noodles and I can't wait. I actually do not eat instant noodles a lot because I'm always cooking stuff or we're out filming stuff. I noticed in the last couple of years, like instant noodles have gotten really, really fancy. Now look at this, dim sum instant noodles. This is Gui Lin rice, dry rice noodle. This is something I absolutely love. There's been a ton of these restaurants opening all around the world. My friend recommended this. She said, this is the newest hottest thing in China. This is uh, Luo Shifen. Luo is like the sea snail. So it's like some sort of sea snail noodle. But she's saying this is so amazing right now. Konjac noodle, this whole big thing is only 250 calories because konjac has no calories. It's just so much salted egg instant noodles, spicy and sour. Shanxi Xi'an Liangpi from my hometown. All right, we're gonna try the heck out of this. I just need some hot oil. Oh, that's a shame. Excuse me while I make some hot oil. You cannot eat instant noodles without any hot oil. Oh, that smells so good. Now we're ready. It's like I just walked into an instant noodle buffet. I don't even know which one to try first. You know what? I gotta go for this one. The one that my friends say is a must try. So it's a rice noodle dish. All right, this is complicated. This thing has six packs of stuff in here. And while this is cooking, I just wanna give a big shout out and thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. If you guys don't know what a VPN is, it's a virtual private network. And I've been using Surfshark VPN for I think over a year now. And there's so many reasons that you should be using a VPN, especially in this day and age. First of all, everyone's online more nowadays, and especially now that we're starting to open up, you'll start to go outside and start accessing all these different hotspots. And for me, before all this happened, I was going all around the world, traveling to different airports, hotels, again, a lot of different hotspots 
so it's really vital for me and for everyone to protect your digital information. I'm sure you've experienced this. If you type in a search keyword or chat with one of your friends about a certain product, all of a sudden you're gonna see promotions and ads for that product popping up everywhere. So basically what Surfshark does is that it encrypts all the data that you're sending through the internet and it keeps anyone unwanted from seeing it. Surfshark also has a thing called hack lock ID. So if anyone is trying to access, let's say your email, you're gonna get notified right away. Also, since most of us are still staying at home, you're gonna wanna be entertained, right? You're gonna wanna watch stuff. And I do really hope that you come to this channel whenever you're bored. But if you do see yourself running out of Netflix shows where you're not in the US, you wanna access Hulu, you definitely need a VPN. Did you know the video catalog in the US is different than the video catalog in Japan? And that's different from the video catalog in Australia for Netflix. So if you run out of things to watch in this country, hop onto another country. And Surfshark has a really, really, I mean, super good deal going on right now. If you go to the link down below and use my promo code Mikey Chan, you're gonna get 85% off the regular price. 85% off! Plus, you're gonna get three extra months for free. And Surfshark has a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, if it's not doing everything I'm telling you it's doing, get a refund, spend it on a cup of coffee or a bag of instant noodles. You'll be doing yourself a favor and you'll be supporting this channel at the same time. So again, the link is down below. Please check them out. Okay, I think my noodles are ready. This definitely took a while to cook. So then it says to add the bamboo shoots, the preserved veggies, and the soup base. Then we're going to add the peanuts Oof. and the tomato snail sauce thing. Smells way more tomato-y than ocean snail-y. <clears throat> oh, this is awesome. Wow! Big shout out to Bing who told me to get this. Oh! Bing, me, and my stomach, thank you. I really didn't expect it to be this good because I'm like, it just smells really tomato-y. What is this, like ketchup noodles? But all the elements of this dish works. The texture, you got these little crunchy peanuts, little crunchy preserved green beans. Noodles got so much flavor. I mean, it smells very tomato-y. But the profile is actually so much deeper than that. Noodle texture is also amazing. It's definitely on the vinegary side, which I love. It's sour, it's spicy, it's crunchy, it's chewy. Yeah, I know this is the first of many I'm trying today, but this is already at least nine out of 10 for me. Mm. If I go to a restaurant and they just gave me this, I didn't know it came from my bag, would not complain, would come back. I mean, I don't specifically taste sea snails, but you could tell this thing is just like pounded with flavor. Mm. Hundred percent recommend. Really a hard time believing this actually came out of a bag. Okay, next. Let's try this. This is like the same brand. I think one is a noodle soup and one is the dry version. I think I tried the dry version before, so let's do the noodle soup. Gotta say, a lot of these noodles, the instructions are definitely wrong. I had to add tons of water in this one. Definitely not a lot of soup. Wow. It's really spicy and very, very nummy. Like extremely, extremely nummy. If you don't know what I mean, there's a lot of peppercorn powder in here. That I think kind of overpowers all the other flavors. And it's really, again, not much soup to speak of. And the soup flavor is also just completely overwhelmed by that heavy peppercorn powder. Four bites in, 
I feel like this noodle just sucked me in the jaw because uh, my mouth is all sort of numb right now. On one hand, it's spicy and nummy and that's good, but then that's like all you taste. I will say though, the actual noodles they give you here are really, really quality noodles. The rest of this, not a big fan. I mean, as much as I love citron flavors, I love peppercorn, I love chilies. I also like to taste other things. So for me, Six out of 10. Let's try this Korean one. Hot and spicy knife cut noodles. This is definitely more like udon noodles than knife cut noodles, but let's see. This does not look promising. It's like clumped together. All right, again, it doesn't look like knife cut noodles. It just looks like udon noodles. It smells like, you know you know that uh, preservative smell that all really cheap instant noodles have? That's what this smells like. Yeah, that's right. I called you cheap. You know those like 10, 20 cent cup noodles that's made in America with those radioactive peas and carrots? And whenever you pour hot water in, it gives you that really weird, funky smell. That's what I'm smelling right here. Just like Taylor Swift in a long-term relationship, I have very low expectations for you. Yeah, tastes about as good as it looks. I actually like Taylor Swift. I really shouldn't have mentioned her and you in the same sentence. How dare you call yourself knife cut noodles. Yuk cow, more like yuck cow. Noodles are like, they're not chewy, they're like soggy. The broth is super oily, I mean spicy and no other flavor. Sodium. Yeah, definitely a three or four out of 10. Next one, this looks promising. Fresh Japanese style somen. Sanukiya somen. If you guys don't know what somen is, somen is the same as Chinese guamian, which are very thin noodles. Definitely some fish in here. A little dashi. I mean, after the last noodle, anything is a step up. Noodles are nice and thin. Do you enjoy that? But the noodles really soaked up none of the flavor of the soup. So you kind of got to eat the noodles and slurp the soup at the same time. Okay, it's not horrible. It definitely needs some help. There you go, buddy. Just add a hint of hot oil. What I like to call red flavor enhancer. Oh. You know what nickname I like to give my hot oil? I like to call this instant noodles little black dress. Put this on, it's gonna add at least three points to the noodles. Okay, with my hot oil, this is bumped up to a seven. But I think before that, it's hovering around the five range. I mean, the noodles are okay. I think the actual noodles from the Chinese instant noodles are much better. The texture is better, the quality is better. I mean, this is obviously not one of the top instant noodles in Japan. With the hot oil, about a seven, without about a five to 5.5. .5. All right, after those, I feel like I need a little redemption. Let's try this, Shanxi Liang Pi. Instant yum pea? You know this is one of the most difficult, time-consuming noodle dishes to make, but hey, get the instant version, let's see. Looks more like a zazian mian than a liang pi. Why is this so dark? I'm kind of worried I'm eating something that's expired. I mean, it doesn't look at all like the picture. I mean, this is the picture. And it has like a really 
artificial flavor. Like the, the sweetness is very artificial. Although the texture of the noodles is amazing. It's really, really good. It's a tad too sweet, but there's Chinese vinegar in here. Definitely soy sauce. Best thing about this, 100% the texture of these noodles. I think if you buy this, I would just make the noodles and then just make my own seasoning. All right, let's add a couple of hints of hot oil in here. And usually there should be some sesame sauce um, in here. It's much better with the hot oil. I think when it comes to noodle texture, this is about as close as you're gonna come from an instant noodle to a liang pi. Texture is fabulous. but that really dark sauce, way too sweet. Definitely next time, I would just put the spicy packet in, leave the darker sauce out. I feel like it 100% needs some sesame sauce. Much, much better. I mean, on its own, it's not bad, but if you make those changes, I would give this a solid 8.5. Next up, let's go for a dry needle. Look at this. That's pretty. This is a guilin mi fen. So guilin mi fen are these like rice noodles that have become really, really popular lately. A lot of these shops opening up in New York. Typically they could be dry noodles or soup noodles. Sour beans, braised sauce, chili oil, preserved veggies, and peas. I'll be honest, just from the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's that flavorful. It's definitely sour. A lot of preserved vegetables. I can smell the vinegar from here. And these noodles like came apart really easy. So the quality of these noodles are, are pretty evident. Let's see. These noodles remind me of Loki, you know, from the Avengers. Is it good? Is it not good? I'm just really not sure. The noodle texture is kind of weird. They're spongy, but they're not chewy. They fall apart really easy. And it has like a undercooked taste to it, but these noodles are already cooked. I put them in water way longer than the su suggested time anyway, but they taste like they're not cooked enough. But at the same time, they are. The other preserved vegetables are good. I think overall the flavor is solid. A lot of nice random crunch. My biggest problem is with the noodles here. I think if you took the noodles from our last instant noodle and put it in here, That'd be pretty darn good. Um, if you see these little round rice noodles, these are the traditional noodles that goes into a grayling rice noodle dish. But the noodles are typically really chewy, really spongy. They taste like someone took those really nice and chewy noodles, put them through a dryer, and then I soaked it in water for three minutes. Oh, that's not good. Don't recommend. Give this a four out of 10. This is definitely the most stylish container I've seen so far. Zheng qi gua mian, so steam noodles. And it's Spicy beef flavor. Okay, now the problem with these noodles is that there's no directions. And the brand is Fat Mama. No, there's no directions. It's just the nutritional value here, and this is just a picture of Fat Mama. So you got a ball of noodles. Ooh, they give you a little foldable fork. Veggie pack, sauce pack, seasoning pack. This is really thin, so I'm thinking it's gonna cook fast, but I don't know if this is supposed to be like a dry noodle or a soup noodle. Guess what I'm gonna do is just put the noodles in my bowl and I'm gonna pour hot water over it and just let it soak. Also, fat, fat mama. Just because she's fat, she makes good noodles. My mom's super thin, she makes amazing noodles. And my mom definitely would have added the instructions on how to cook this on here. I'm thinking this is actually gonna be soup noodles because these are preserved vegetables where it needs a good amount of water to rehydrate. And I'm thinking this is the soup pack, so this is noodle soup. But look at all the preservatives and all this junk that came out of the noodles. Whenever you're cooking instant noodles, and I, I didn't do it this time because uh, for the sake of time, definitely boil it once in hot water to get rid of all that preservative stuff. That's what I typically always do.
Mm -hmm. Noodle texture is excellent. No wonder that mama's fat because this is a good bowl of noodles. And this thing 100% needs some Chinese vinegar. Other than that, the soup is actually really beefy. Noodles, excellent texture. Mm. A really good texture. Good amounts of heat in here. I bet this is gonna push it over the top. Beef, soup, and Chinese vinegar. I like the Romeo and Julieta foods. Mm. This is great. Get this. Add a little vinegar, you will enjoy this bowl of noodles. Shout out to Fat Mama. Solid eight out of 10. Salted egg ramen. They put salt egg in everything. Haven't had any ramen yet. I love the marketing aspects of these Chinese ramen. Hao chi dao pi cha. Means it tastes so good, you're gonna wanna do the splits. Mm -hmm. This is the noodle, it's so philosophical. Tastes so good, you can do the splits. And look at this, on the seasoning pack, it says here, 迷茫的时候选择最难的路走,或者吃一口,冷静一下. So it says, when you're confused, choose the toughest road available to you. Uh, that doesn't sound right at all. So then it says, or take a bite and calm down. This thing is trying to be the fortune cookie of instant noodles. Sort of eggy. It's spicy. It's fragrant. Wow, this thing. <coughs> Don't judge a book by this chicken cover story of the year. Don't cook the noodle too much. Make it nice and al dente. It's incredibly spicy. You taste the salted egg yolk. The noodle has a great chew to it. It's uber flavorful. Fragrant because of the sesame seeds. It's small, but it is mighty in flavor. 8.5 out of 10. By the way, that chicken mascot kind of looks like that chicken that um, Peter fights all the time with Family Guy. Konjac jelly, and they made it into a noodle, and it's big and heavy. It's only like 200 calories. Whoa. Soup powder, vinegar, veggies, sauce. It's gonna rinse this out with water. Really not bad. I mean, if you ever had contract jelly, it's great. Amazing texture. Again, zero calories. What's not to love about it? The broth is spicy as sour. It's not the most flavorful thing, but it kind of hits you in a cheap thrill kind of way. Give it a seven. Also, their slogan, you want a good body? Eat this. But seriously, 200 calories. A lot of, ooh, that is a lot of sodium. I always wonder about this. This is like the most beautiful looking instant noodles I've ever seen. Look at the package. It's like you're eating a poem or a watercolor painting. This is called dim sum soy sauce noodles. Pretty simple packaging. One noodle, two seasoning packs. First glance, noodles really springy. Kind of like the springy mattress of noodles. I think the seasoning is legit, just oil and soy sauce. And some white, <coughs> white pepper. Oil and soy sauce. That would remind me of Skyan noodles. You know what? It's simple and simply delicious. I mean, really, no frill to these noodles. This is really good. Mm. That white pepper really hits the spot. Let's jazz it up a little more. Tons of umami flavor, the noodle quality is excellent. Dim sum soy sauce noodles. That's a good buy. Seriously, this is good. I mean, the simplest flavored instant noodle I think I've had I've ever had in my life, but truly excellent. Just like his packaging, this thing just, it just tastes elegant. Actually, it needs a little bit of something else. Little bit of scallions. 
just to give it a little additional subtle flavor. That was the right move. Wow, man, gotta get these next time you're in the store. You can make this into a soup or dry. I like it dry, 8.5 out of 10. All right, let's try these. These are the famous Taiwanese rice noodles. And you can find these all over Taiwan. They're oyster rice noodles. This is a big bowl and it's so slimy. I mean, I, I know it's supposed to be slimy because if you go to Taiwan, this dish is just really, really slimy. This is awesome. It actually tastes similar to what you'll find on the streets in Taiwan. It's slimy in all the right ways. And it has such a strong but pleasant oyster flavor. This thing, trust me on this. Little hot oil, little vinegar. Oh yeah, more vinegar, please. When you go to Taiwan, you're walking down the street, you see like lunchtime, a long line out of a store and people standing on the side, scooping things into their mouth. Usually it's the oyster rice noodles. Nine out of 10, heck yeah. Your body might be quarantined at home, your taste buds in Taiwan. Just remember, slimy, bad when it comes to people, great when it comes to noodles. All right, last noodle. And this one comes from my freezer. So last week, Ramen Hero contacted me and they mailed me a couple of their vegan ramens to try. So miso impossible. Hmm, miso not ready for this. Noodles. The vegan broth. Nori, and not really sure what this is. Not 100% sure what's in this toppings bag. Oh, there's a tomato and I think it's some sort of imitation meat, eggplant, and then the nori. My first ever vegan ramen. I really don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, it's imitation meat, full of miso flavor. Flavor's not bad. Let's try this. Noodles are good. Really nice and al dente. Wow, that's a solid miso broth. Mmm, very thick, very creamy. The meat substitute actually tastes like ground beef. If I didn't know this was vegan, and I've been into it, I would think it's beef. It's got that beefy flavor. This is a pretty solid bowl of ramen. This imitation meat might be my favorite thing in here. Oh, actually, there's one more thing I want to add to my noodles. And this really has nothing to do with uh, the fact that I'm eating vegan ramen right now. So I was filming a Wagyu video a few days ago and I let a piece of Wagyu sit in the fridge. I was gonna eat it today with the ramen and I forgot about it. So we gotta eat this today. And there's no way in heck I am letting Wagyu go bad. I don't know when I'll ever get back to Japan again. This might be the closest I'm gonna get for a while. You don't need to put any of the oil in here. It's just so much fat. That's it. A little bit of salt, all you need. Even though I had some really good instant noodles today, best moment of the day. I'm really not trying to offend any vegans out there. I'm not trying to be like, it's vegan, I have to add some beef in there. 
That's not what I'm doing, okay? I already said the vegan ramen is great. The, even the meat inside, that was my favorite thing in here. But I'm not gonna let my steak go bad. A5 Wagyu ramen. Wow, this combo, holy and no pun intended, cow. You bite down that chewy noodle, all covering that great miso flavor, and then one bite, the fat of the beef just start melting, oozing everywhere. This is probably never done before. Miso ramen with A5 Wagyu. But if this is wrong, I don't want to be right. Just saying. By the way, it's about 7 p.m., 8 p.m. I've been filming this video since like, like 3 p.m. So it's taking me about almost five hours to film this video, mainly because I had to cook and film each individual noodle. So basically what I want to say is, me so full. Also, me so happy. Finally was able to try out all the instant noodles I had stored in my apartment. Best one today. I would have to give it to the snail noodle. It might not sound like something you'd be into. A lot of people think snails belong in the garden and not in the stomach. I totally disagree with that. It's not like you can taste a snail. I love the soy sauce noodle, excellent. And the salted egg, spicy salted egg. What a shocker, that was delicious. Also, this is pretty quality too. So thank you so much Ramen Hero for sending this to me. And hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I know there's like 20 billion selections of instant noodles when you go to an Asian supermarket or a Chinese supermarket. And a lot of times it could be quite overwhelming. Even for me, like I, I walked down the aisle, I didn't know half of this stuff. And now hopefully you'll know what to get and what to avoid. That <laughs> Korean knife cut noodle. <clears throat> and guys, I know we all been stuck at home for months now. A lot of the states are slowly opening up. So I do want to say, if if you do go outside, please be safe. And if you're stuck inside like I am, and I'm sure most of us are going stir crazy, but hey, we're almost there. Light is at the end of the tunnel. Hang in there. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later. I'm gonna eat this now.